I was inspired by this tweet from my guy, Banshee. Give him a follow if you don't already. You can see top NBA, WNBA stories, that is, right now, according to Google, Caitlin Clark at Jordan Davis concert, Angel Reese vacationing with her boyfriend. And um, like I've always said, I'm not really into the paparazzi stuff, but it just does go to show you how famous these women are. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. I mean, Caitlin Clark is the most popular women's basketball player of all time. And one thing that I've realized in following her of late and, and seeing stuff like this footage from that country concert is how beloved she is by her fans, right? Like they really love her, like no matter what she's doing. And Angel Reese has this um, social media clout uh, and celebrity following. And, and uh, she showed up at the Megan the Stallion concert and Meg seemed genuinely touched by the surprise. So it, it shows you as the Olympics are going on that Caitlin Clark can appear at a concert and Angel Reese can appear at a concert. And those are news stories that are bigger, at least in attention and, and placement than what Team USA is doing, which is pretty wild when you think about it. This was the, the Caitlin Clark moment at uh, someone called Jordan Davis. Is that his name? Concert. I, I've never heard of him before. Uh, I had to look him up. Country music guy, I guess. And Caitlin and Lexi Hull were out there. Coming up on stage. Caitlin revving up the crowd like uh, a Minnesota Lynx game. So apparently they know the words to this song as well. Big fans. Um, this was a concert that was in Indianapolis. That video, courtesy of Scott Agnes, who covers the 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 team. Um, so it you know it was a local show for the Indiana Fever there for, for Hull and, and Clark who have been hanging out a bunch. And Caitlin also posted something about it on her uh, social media, I believe, just basically saying, you know, she got to be a rock star for a minute there. Um, oh yeah. She, she commented my dream come true of being a rock star. And then Jordan Davis says, I don't know. Averaging 50 a game is pretty rock star. Thanks for coming out. Um, I'm sure his, I wonder if his streams, went up as a result of Caitlin Clark's appearance. I bet you his Google trend went up as a result of that. And it, when I say I don't know who he is, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I just literally didn't know who he was. Um, I, I don't dislike any genre of music, but country music has not been my wheelhouse or my favorite um, over the course of my life. So uh, I learned who he was through that appearance by Caitlin Clark at that concert. And like I said, revving the crowd up like it was a Minnesota Lynx home game. Meanwhile, you had Angel Reese showing up at the, the Megan the Stallion show at Lollapalooza. Um, this video is courtesy of I Am uh, Nira, I believe. And this was a pretty cool moment. You see Reese pop up on stage. And I think Meg was uh, genuinely touched there, it seemed like, in that moment. Definitely different styles of music, but that's – I listen to, like, you know, you were telling me I could have, like, five musical acts to listen to for the rest of my life and nothing else. I think I would, I would definitely choose Jay-Z, as everybody knows. Um, other acts that would be in the running, Outkast, Wu-Tang Clan, Kendrick Lamar, Kanye before he went bonkers, uh, Tom Petty. Fleawood Mac, for sure. Um, Pharrell, Neptune's style stuff. Prince would be in consideration for me um, as well. You know, so there, there's just a lot on the on the, the table there. I mean, uh, back in my 90s days, I was Green Day and Pearl Jam and Red Hot Chili Peppers. 
and groups like that. So like, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm not against any genre of music. I, if I like it, I like it. Um, but uh, it, it is funny to see. <laughs> it was a little bit of a different end of the spectrum right there when, when it comes to uh, where each appeared. But same spectrum when it comes to the fame and the notoriety and, I mean, the, the star power, the celebrity. I mean, it's, it's almost staggering in a sense. I've done, you know, I've talked about the merchandise sales. And, you know, when, whenever this comes up, people like to pit Clark against Reese. Here's what it is. Caitlin Clark is the biggest figure in the history of the sport who has lifted the sport beyond anyone else ever, right? Like, that's just the truth. But Angel is very popular. Like, she is the second most famous basketball player, women's basketball player in the world now. And neither of them are over in Paris with the Olympics team. Now, the next time there is a break in the WNBA season for the Olympics, these two young women will not have as much time on their hands because they will be playing together for Team USA, most likely, in Los Angeles in 2028, which is something uh, Angel addressed during the All-Star game as well. And, and I, you know, I thought that All-Star game was really cool when they, they did have the exchange on the court. And I think Angel even softened her stance a little bit in, in her interview. I, I mean, I think it was hopefully a, a bit of a, a legitimate healing moment um, going forward for the respective fan bases, perhaps. But it, it goes to show you just how big they are. I mean, like I've said about Clark, that if they were to make a Space Jam 3, she would be the star. And since Magic and Bird and then Michael, there has been Kobe, LeBron, Steph Curry, Caitlin Clark, you know, like as far as like big basketball stuff. And now when you talk about Angel, Angel is about as famous as any of the non-legacy guys in the NBA, I think as well now. So, you know, Caitlin Clark can show up at the grocery store. There's a picture taken. That's going to be everywhere. Angel Reese can post a picture of herself on IG, um, go to a fashion show. She was over there, the Louis Vuitton show in, in Paris, I believe. And, and people are going to, like, dive to their computers to write up the stories and post it up there to see if they can get in the top of the Google search, as you saw in the post at the beginning of this video. Um, and that is a testament to the status these two women have achieved. Now, I mostly consume them through basketball and how they play basketball, and that's why I am a fan of them, respectively. You know, Caitlin Clark, to me, is the most exciting player to watch in basketball, period, male, female. And Angel has a, a special um, nose for the basketball as a rebounder, which should be appreciated, but you can't deny how big they are right now. Huge.